Korea uh, uh, was established uh, in year 2000 as a not-for-profit association and uh, CRIA is an organization of the civil society, but it's of public interest. That's a special kind of organization in Brazil. That means if you are of public interest, you have like to have like an open account. And so every year you have like to, to have like the auditing and you have like to publish all the results of your account. Accounting, uh, accounting and uh, business with, together with, with, uh, with a technical report. So there's uh, the, 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 the OCPs in Brazil, they are accredited by the, by the Minister of Justice. So there's a, so it's a special mechanism for this legal framework of this type of organization. So we have like much more flexibility than the public public uh, organizations, but uh, we have like to have like a very transparent and all open uh, accounting. And uh, also uh, this type of organization, uh, in order to get the accreditation, has to define which is the focus and uh, the mission. And every year we have like to 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 send like a technical report like that's evaluated by the by the Brazilian Minister of Justice. And so the focus and mission of CRIA is uh, to develop like the, the, the e-science infrastructure with focus on biodiversity data tools and web services. And also as, uh, as, as uh, we have as a mission, the promotion of uh, scientific innovation uh, so we have like the mission to support the, 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 the scientific innovation and also policy and informed, informed decision making. Uh, the focus of uh, CREA work is to, to, uh, to make available uh, data on species and specimen uh, and in an open access. So all the data that we ha handle is available, is freely and openly available. And all the tools that we develop, we tried either to use like uh, free software and also as much as possible we do open source developments. And so uh, uh, dealing with uh, specimens data, we have like the species link network uh, that uh, is focused on, on biological data from plants and, uh, and animals. Uh, we have also the SQL net that uh, is the network that's integrating data on microorganisms and is fully integrated with, uh, with the species link network. And also we have like uh, special treatments for, for example, the, the virtual herbarium of saint -Hilaire. integrates all the data like from the samples collected uh, by saint -Hilaire in Brazil in the 17th century. And also as a special project, we have like uh, the National Institute of the Virtual Herbarium. Also we have uh, databases uh, focused on the species and uh, we, we have like uh, the, the Brazilian, the, the, the Neotropical Catalog of Bees that was prepared by Modi. And also uh, we have worked on the development of the system to integrate the list of the Brazilian plant species. In addition, we have like databases of publications. We have like the, the, the BioLine International that's a system that's integrating a large number of, uh, of journals from developing countries, from India, from Africa, from Brazil. Uh, and also this system uh, started uh, to be worked out like 20 years ago. Like this year we are celebrating 20 years of BioLine International and all the information is also free and freely and openly available. We have like journals, there's the checklist journal that uh, there's a specific journal like for, for taxonomic keys and, uh, and the taxonomic tre treatments. And we have like the Marshus Flores Bra Bra Flora Brasilensis. I think like that 
is one of the most monumental works uh, of, uh, of Flores and uh, is fully available online through the internet. And also we have like databases of drawings, exequates, pictures, maps, and so it's quite, uh, you know, like it's all integrated. So when you search like for a record, you can see the images, you can see the maps, and all like in a dynamic way, all on the fly. Uh, so this, this is the status of uh, the species link network, and we have like more, more than 300 collections. Now, last week, we reached more than 6 million records. Uh, and uh, out of those 6 million records, we have like 4.5 million are georeferenced records either at the source or with, uh, with uh, the, the CRIAS tools. And uh, we have like a large number of uh, records with images, type records, and so it's, it's growing quite, quite nicely. And here is uh, to show what type of information. Okay, if you look like for a species, and uh, then when you, you, you find out like this species, if you, 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 you know if this species in the red list, and if you can know also if it's endemic or not to Brazil, you have like the data points associated with this species and all additional information, like images in the Flora Brasilensis online, images in the field, and all the field images that we have, they have like to be linked to the, to the sample in the collection. We do not put any other pictures or, or other than the ones that are provided by, 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 by the collections, but like they, they have like to be like also a, another piece of information of uh, the collection activity. And also you can plot all the data like for these species and all the species like in the Google Maps. Again, here like other types of information, looking for, oops, looking for that species. You can, see, oops, sorry, this red dot here. All, all the collections that uh, have like samples of the species and how many records and, and also like for these species, when they were collected, and also you have like here like uh, the distribution map like for, for this specific species. So in synthesis, we have more than 300 providers. We have 86 partner institutions in Brazil, plus six abroad, uh, lots of uh, records, images. We have like approximately 250,000 images associated with, uh, with uh, the, the, the records of the samples in the collections. And also we have like tools to, to do the gap analysis, to do the biogeographic analysis, and also we have services to provide like images, maps, and also uh, to support like uh, ecological niche modeling, that's, that's the open modeler. Uh, well, regarding CRIAS strategies, uh, it's a very opportunistic strategy and uh, also we uh, always look like for practical solutions to support like the providers of the data. And so basically that's the species link network, that's, uh, I think this slide was made like uh, six months ago, it's fairly outdated, but uh, like as to the, to the, to the approach that was used to develop like the species link network. Okay, when we start thinking, okay, how can we, we develop an information system to integrate data from distributed collections, dealing data with a different software and also using different equipment. And so the goal was to, 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 to develop a system that could be integrate data from, that, from collections that were dealt by different software and using like low cost equipment. So the servers that are, 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 
are, are, are, are, are, are, are in the collections are like PCs and uh, things like that. It's low cost equipment. And, uh, and also, uh, when we started uh, the, the, the development, uh, uh, we uh, instead of starting uh, to develop like a communication protocol, we collaborate with the, with the, the, the digger testing and uh, development that was going on by the time. And another thing that we had we had like to address is the issue that like in a developing country, you have like situation where uh, different collections they do not have like good and stable uh, internet connectivity, and so we develop like a system that uh, uh, with the installation of the the species link software in the participating collections would be much easier to send uh, the data like to, to the harvester. And also we uh, develop a whole system of uh, regional or institutional servers uh, to collect like the regional server and uh, then uh, transfer like transfer the data to the central server. And so basically, so uh, basically in each of the collections, uh, we, we provide uh, the installation of the species linker. That's the software that's able to read all the data that was inserted in that day and serve only that data to the network. And uh, this, uh, this data that was processed in the day is captured and, uh, and uh, is captured and, uh, and, uh, and installed in the, the, the central server. And, uh, so this is the species link, uh, species linker, uh, and also uh, an important uh, issue about uh, the, the 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 great participation of the collections is that uh, the system allows the, the 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 data provider to have like full control of the data that's served. So we have uh, 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 the the data model. That's, uh, what, that's the Darwin Core data model. And uh, what uh, the, 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 the species link allow is that, okay, when, when you do the mapping of the data, before sending the data to the network, the, the, the curator or the, the, the responsible, the, the, the data owner can uh, block all the data that uh, either uh, is not relevant like for the Darwin core or like is, is a restricted data. And so uh, let's see here. And so, so we have like filters like for sensitive data such that, okay, if locality is a problem because it's an endangered species, you just can block like this data and uh, the system will tell, okay, this collection has this data, but this data is blocked. Um, so, I think this is an important uh, system. So that's that's the configuration of the species link network, and then we have like uh, uh, situations where we have like local servers, and we have like the other situation is where the, the collections are directly linked. To the, they, they send the data directly to the, to the central data server at CREA. And so it's quite uh, interesting because it's evolving and we have like a good control and uh, it's, a, it's a good performance for this system. And uh, here shows like uh, the overall picture of, uh, of uh, the system where you have like all, all the collections that are serving data directly to, 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 the, to the central repository or the collections that uh, have like the, the collections where, where their data is captured by like the, the cache nodes at the, the, regional, the, the regional nodes. And so every night the system does a harvesting and gets all the core data. That's like the, the Darwin core data model. That's deposited like in the central repository. 
And with this data, we can do several things like we can develop like the reports of data analysis on indicators, collection profile, we have like the, the, the data cleaning tools making an analysis of this data and also we have like a complete control of the situation at, at the manager. And also from this core central database we, we have like all uh, the, 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 the software like uh, uh, develop like to, to provide like data and, uh, na uh, and tools for analysis through web services like the map Korea, the taper provider and uh, the images are provided by the SCCAT and so I think this is a fairly interesting so uh, it's, 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 a pro it's, it's a system that has been evolving for the last uh, 12 years and so this is the page like to do the searches and uh, in addition to to searching uh, data we have like a, a lots of tools to do data cleaning geolocation so out, uh, detection of outliers and uh, so uh, i told you that every night the system does a harvest of all the data that was added in the network and then for each collection the system develops like this uh, data analysis report so it's uh, to, to check like the data cleaning and so for each collection you know like the number of records and then you can see okay like uh, the distribution of those records and uh, here you can see that like oops uh, for, uh, for a nearby sample you might have like some problems here because it's the samples are falling in the sea. And so uh, for the curator is really good because then he can click in that, that, uh, that record, not, not in this table here, but he can go back to the table, click in the record, and then he can go there and uh, do the correction. So we do not do any change in the data that's provided. We just indicate which are the potential uh, error or outliers and or the data providers they have like to do the, 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 the data cleaning job. Um, so here is an example of uh, indication of uh, like uh, potential problems with taxonomy. So here like the green ones are one that's okay and uh, the, the red ones is, uh, are the ones that you might have like some problems after the comparison with uh, the catalog of life. So either misspelling or maybe uh, wrong names. Uh, here uh, you have like uh, the analysis of, uh, of uh, the localities. And uh, here you can see, see here like uh, he's saying that uh, that point is falling in that county, but uh, when you look at uh, the, the, the gazetteer from the Brazilian geographic system, uh, indeed is not in that county, but like in the, the next, uh, uh, the, next uh, the, 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 the neighbor county. And so I think like, uh, you know, as a locality, you have like all the problems of precision and things like that. And so this, so like the user of the data and uh, the curator of the data can check all that before using the data. So here is more details about like uh, the localities and uh, for, for the samples that uh, do not have uh, the latitude long information based on the, the name of the county and uh, with uh, the, the information available at uh, the the Brazilian Gazetteer, Brazilian Geographic Institute Gazetteer, we can assign uh, localities for the samples. Okay, here, uh, so you can see the, the records of how many records for, for uh, one species as, as in the different collections, and in addition to the records, you can see, uh, okay, if you have like, uh, geographic, uh, you, if you have maps and also all those books when, when uh, you have like additional uh, literature information. Here is just like um, the output for one collection. 